and welcome back to part two of D and D Shadow Over My Stara. One thing I neglected to mention that is that you get multiple path options in this game. Now I'm not going over everything. I do want to leave some things a mystery. Your special move is made is done by pressing the A and B button together. Being a little cheap ass there. Knocking him down and hitting him when he's down. If you're really good and lucky, you can hit him with the, in midair. One nice thing when you die, you don't lose your items that you've collected. Which is always nice. Got some hellhounds here. Not too difficult. As you see, the uh, dwarf dis uh, destroys them easily. Oh, here are some more goblins. I am so scared. chance for your uh, for you to get some to buy some items you can see you get throwing hammers daggers silver daggers arrows burning oils it's a chance to buy some healing items only a couple at a time though You're timed in the process of purchasing all your equipment. But it does show you nicely how much money you have left. Got some pretty boy faggot here wanting some help. Sky ships in D&D. Final Fantasy thing.
far left in the back uh, background there is causing some difficulties. These chests, if you don't hit them just right, they won't open up. And if you throw them, that's be a good distance away. I even get a nice opportunity to use a shield here. Which is a much needed feature from the first one. Very handy if you're playing it on the actual arcade machine. In stores if you can find it. Maybe if you're playing it on an emulator like I am. Not worth it. One problem I had with this game is a cheap ass heartbeat. Now this is where the game starts getting cheap. Stay tuned for part 3 of D&D &D Shadow of Man.